celebration of Bali. And I'd like to ask you, what do you think it is about Bali that attracts so many Australian tourists in particular? Apart from the proximity of Bali to Australia, would you think there's a cultural factor there that Australians are very interested in? Oh, I think absolutely. Australians just love the Balinese culture. They also love Bali geographically. It is really it's just such a gorgeous, beautiful paradise. And whilst Bali has been through many... Um, many difficult times of late, certainly Australians still have a great deep love for Bali. Yes, that is very evident in a lot of things I've heard about Australians when they've come back from their travels. Do you think any other areas of Indonesia have the potential to be as popular to, for tourists as Bali? I think one area that's um, perhaps less known in Australia is Tanataraja. Um, that is also a very beautiful uh, tourist destination which many Europeans visit, um, which unfortunately has gone through um, you know, hiccups because of um, world, world terrorism, which has of course not only affected Indonesia but other parts of the world. Um, other places, you know, Lake Toba, but there are places in Java as well which Australians have come to know. But, um, you know, Bali is um, an area that is very well known and so people will continue to go there, you know, and are doing currently as well, which um, even though it's gone through many ups and downs, people are still visiting. And, um, but I, should, I would say Tanataraja is an area for the future as well. Excellent. Now, with the popularity Bali has and the amount of tourists visiting it, do you think Bali will be able to sustain its tourism or do you see problems in the future environmentally and infrastructure? I, I think really around the world there are environmental issues that um, Australians and Indonesians are thinking about. There are also many Indonesian environmentalists, so this is not something that Australians have ownership of. Environmental issues are, are, are fat factor which of course affects people around the world and um, I think in terms of Bali's um, being able to come through the, the current uh, difficulties it's very much going to, um, to depend upon that goodwill that Bali you know, has established over a long period of time and anybody who knows business knows that really goodwill doesn't dis isn't dispelled quickly. There may um, you know, be a short-term lapse in, um, in, in people perhaps deciding to go elsewhere, but you know, the Bali brand name is, is still very, very strong amongst Australians. And I think that, um, and, and you, know, you see it now, you know, tourism has picked up and people are continuing to go. Thank you so much, that was really insightful. <laughs>
We do have around three, around five children, and we support them uh, the tuition fee for two years. And three, three of them, three of them been graduated. And I think also because of the, um, you know, the tourism condition in Bali is not is not so good. Well, increasing at the moment, but it is good for us as the Balinese students who studying in Melbourne, who already who are already in Australia, to do something for Bali. Do you go to Bali a lot? Every two months. You're a very lucky man. And what's your favourite aspect about Bali? What really takes your heart when you go to Bali? Short pants, t-shirt and thongs. <laughs> Most of the Australians like to stay in Kuta. Kuta is the extent for Kota untuk Turis Australia. <laughs> Do you have any valuable travel advice to give Australians coming to Bali for the first time? Bring raspberry cordial. Koti's raspberry cordial. It will give you a good help if you get Bali belly. My best tip. We have a friendly ambience, friendly people, and price is not very expensive. Beautiful place, beautiful beaches, because most of the Australians like to surf in the beach, and also shopping is not very expensive. Food are very great. Yeah. What's Bali's best kept secret? Well, uh, it depends on what you really want, really, as I would say. Like, food wise, is, I would say. Suckling pig in Bali is one of Bali's best kept secrets, as far as I would say. Suckling pig? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's our um, traditional food. So I think if you go to Bali, you will find a lot of suckling pig, and a lot of people like to eat that. Recreation, well, it depends if you want to go. Like, I love surfing, so Kuta is always the best bet. If you want to see chicks and guys on, on the beach, go to Kuta. You can play soccer, you can go surfing, boogie boarding, and so on and so forth. And for me, I enjoy the beach. I can chill. Well, thanks so much for that and enjoy your next trip to Bali very soon. Cheers. <laughs>